I have one. It's expense, and I've got another fact for you. The duckbill platypus, they're really weird creatures. Um, they have web feet, they have a bill, um, and the male ones have venomous barbs on their hind legs. But they also have no stomach, <laughs> which is really, really bizarre. If you're lost and you have a dog, how would you find your way north? Well, wait till your dog goes to the toilet. Apparently, according to Frontiers in Zoology, when the dog goes to the loo, its head points north. Um, warthogs, when they go to sleep, their head points north as well. Wombats have square poo. Um, it's because they eat really rough grasses and things like that. This food spends ages in the intestines, so it ends up forming square shapes. It's not that the way out square, it's just it forms square shapes inside their intestines. Um, and then wombats will build little powers out of the poos to mark the territory, a bit like stinky Minecraft. In 1865, Charles Dickens was involved in a train crash. Um, Charles Dickens tended to some of the injured passengers by giving them whiskey. It is thought that possibly this sped up some of them dying um, because it's not the best thing to give some heavily injured people. Um, he never really fully recovered mentally from the train crash and he died five years later still suffering from the trauma. The children's doll Barbie actually has a full name and her name is Barbara Millicent Roberts um, and Ken, her boyfriend, also has a full name. His name is Ken Carson. When you click your fingers it's not your thumb that's making a sound, it's actually this finger here hitting the palm of your hand. The word who um, is the closest we've got to a universal word. Um, it's considered to be understood globally or almost globally. So shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Everybody knows that you don't have to shake a Polaroid picture. But why is this in their heads that we have to do it? Well, early Polaroid pictures came without a protective film over them. So they were actually still covered in a developing fluid. So you had to shake them to get that developing fluid off them before they were developed. The killer song, Jenny was a friend of mine. So come on, so come on. Um, that was written about a murder. Um, it was written about the murder of Jennifer Levins in 1986. And the song was written from the point of view of Robert Chambers' is, um, confession to the murder. Uh, research by child development theorist Linda Kruger Silverman suggests that 30% of the adult population strongly uses visual or spatial thinking, 45% um, think in words and in visual um, cues, and 25% think exclusively words. I'm one of those people that thinks in words and in images. What about you? How do you think? Anyway, that's today's fact. I'll see you tomorrow.